Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 24 of Cards, where uh, this is going to be our first game in the new season, season 15 of Cards, where we will be playing a Japanese Soviet deck primarily. Um, if we get it to Field Marshal, I'll obviously switch out to a different faction. But this is going to be very much a rushing deck, where we have a lot of 1, 2, 3 drops, and then we kind of taper out. Um, so we're definitely going for a hard... I guess uh, we're going for a quick rush, um, trying, which is definitely a complete, completely different play style of the American deck, American Japanese deck that we had. So it'll give a give a bit of a new twist. So this is a preliminary deck that I threw together, um, just really quickly, trying to uh, basically get a feel for the two. I know I've played them a couple times, but I'm still basically getting a feel for the waters basically how to play the Japanese Soviet deck, because I don't really know how to play the Soviets for the most part, whether or not it's just, uh, you know, you just put out your big hitters and just keep going, just like the, like the Germans, or... because they don't really fall into either of those criteria of the Germans or the Americans where you try and buff yourself up and have a bunch of small cheap units that are, you basically just control the entire board. Um, so, the Soviets are kind of weird interesting area, because it seems to be they're mostly card removal, but even that's kind of not fully there, at least in the cards that I currently have at the moment. So, I want to go ahead and just play them a little bit more, just to see what's going on in that regard. Uh, we don't need two target acquired, I'd rather have another, maybe one drop. So the target acquired let, allows us to basically trade for a lot of uh, the... Uh, the big hitters, we can throw away a one drop to uh, kill a, you know, a two drop or something of that nature. Or not a one drop. Oh, like, our one drop goes and kills, you know, a ten drop for the price of two cards. Uh, which would be really cool. Fantastic. Hmm. They want the card draw. I mean, we are throwing away a Type 93, though. So that'll be a 3-4. I think that's okay. We'll get our card draw. It'll slow us down a little bit, but hopefully that won't make too big of a difference. 5 to 7, but we're going to be able to put down at least two, two units. And he can't attack, actually, which is pretty nice, honestly. Two damage to random enemy, throw down our token generator. Because what we can do is we can throw the free token that's generated out of here, so 1-1 one, one that's free to, has zero operation cost, into, let's say, the 1-8, and we play the target acquired, and it'll just destroy it. Which is very nice. I'm gonna probably go forward. No? Okay. 5-5 five, five with smoke screen, not a big deal. It's definitely something we'd like to target. Let's go ahead and take the front line. Probably next turn we'll drop the Chiha. Uh, just so we can do additional damage. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Two damage to the HQ is fine. We'll slowly whittle it down just by the nature of our cards. There's a lot of undestruction due to damage to the HQ. We've got our. 1-1 one, one token, so if he wants to walk forward, we can go ahead and clear. Don't think it's necessarily worth it on the 3-4, though. 2-2 two, two with Fury is nice. Hmm, I almost want to keep the Chiha for a little bit. Unit with Fury for later. No. Blitz and Fury, so 3-3, three, three, you can immediately attack, and you're just going to get destroyed, though, so you're not worth it, especially for the cost of a 2-drop. Go ahead and throw a guard down on our HQ. 
We can throw down Fury as well. So he'll obviously hit probably the guy with Fury. Which is not the best trade, honestly, though. But we can trade the 1-1 uh, if we drop the, the uh, Chiha down. I guess is a Sherman? No, Workers Unite. Gain one credit slot and draw two cards. I haven't seen that card in the Soviets, either. So there's actually quite a bit more uh, card draw that we could have that I don't have in the deck currently. Which I would be quite fond of. 1-5 is a bit annoying, but we can do quite a bit of damage to it, honestly. Let's see. You have guard. We hit here. Oh, well. Didn't actually mean to click that, but the damage is distributed. We drop the Chiha down. Buffs up everyone. Go ahead and trade there and there. So that'll clear up the front. You can obviously walk forward and take the front itself. Which I don't think we actually want to do at the moment. Then again, he might have a Sherman, in which case he'll get card draw, so I don't want him to develop that much. I'll take the 5 damage on this guy. Then we'll want to get this guy up to the front as soon as possible underneath the guard, so he can be a happy camper. Still the target player in case he drops something really big. Deal one damage to all Winter Warfare. Okay, interesting. That's a one cost. Okay. It didn't apply to his unit. Where is HQ? That's like something we'd want to target. One three is no big deal. Go ahead and just get rid of that bomber. So you have blitz, so we can actually march you into the front line. Call it good. So you can obviously trade. You'll be left with an HP. Hopefully we draw a bloody sickle and we would kill you. You can obviously trade for the one three. Actually, you'd have to go here. So he's hemmed in. Uh, our board isn't really developed, though, at the moment. Hand size is pretty comparable, obviously, as an additional card than what we have. Assuming that we're going to get a, gain another one when we draw, obviously. Let's go ahead and give him a hello. He is left with a 1 HP, so this is where we hope we draw a Bloody Sickle and we can get card draw. Alrighty. Hmm. Do 3 damage to HQ, or now we need to get rid of the artillery piece. Actually, that's probably a bigger target than the artillery piece is, honestly. But we got our Bloody Sickle. I like get rid of the 5-1. Go ahead and get rid of the uh, the Warhawk. Two damage to the HQ. We can just go ahead and kill the artillery piece, which is I think that's important enough. And we'll drop down a fighter. Nice 3-3. Three, three. Because we have Blitz, which can actually kill that unit if we Blitz it. Oh yes, we can right here at the 5-0. 3 damage to a unit, there goes our fighter. But it gets to do 2 damage to the HQ, which is... It's enough. It's all on a day's work. And he did burn through most of his cards. A 5-5 heavy armor T-34 is an issue, though. The Bloody Sickle will help. Go ahead and just slap that guy down. Go ahead and play this unit, and I don't. I want to keep the bloody sickle, just in case we get something else. It is obviously card draw, though, but we didn't, we have credits to burn. Honestly, we can drop pretty much everything. So 
you'll do two damage, you'll do one damage, and you can do two damage. So this guy will... we do have a route of destroying this. Obviously I would like to keep this guy though, because he has Blitz. Or, ah, uh, Fury. He's double. He can attack twice. So he can, uh, really take down that HQ pretty quick. Okay. The HQ is getting whittled down slowly. A 6-4 fighter. That's not great for us. Fury is okay. Go ahead and throw this guy down. We will cleanse this unit, do 4 damage to the HQ. He can go ahead and hit our fighter. We can use a bloody sickle to get rid of him. This guy. Or he can hit the HQ, in which case we'll just attack him and bloody sickle him. Which will get his HQ down to 5. But we need our card draw. Haven't, haven't, you know, bloody sickle's the only thing we've had. Oh no, I think we had a, uh, take the front line for the Japanese, get two cards in the beginning. Hmm, I don't remember. <laughs> I can't look back that far in history. 2-2 two, two, half track, so he's going to force my air back. He's going to hit the HQ. Which is okay. Dude, the Warhawk is not good, though. So we will do the same thing once again. Actually, we can drop down this unit as well. So that's our hand. We can clear everything, so it'll be an empty board. Because we can trade here. The Sherman for an additional two guards is not good for us, though, at the moment. Can't trade here, so we'll trade there with the Bloody Sickle. Two, three artillery. That's not good. Because it got rid of our one guy that we needed to clear this guy out. This is a pretty good target for our aircraft, though. Why that guy? Your Warhawk would have been just fine against him. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and do a bloody sickle on that guy. 2-1 with Blitz. I'll apply to a random enemy I'm not interested at the moment. Go ahead and trade there. Take out the artillery piece. And then go ahead and drop down the 2-1 with Blitz. Should I take the front? I think taking the front is sensible. Because that's this will bring down the HQ to three. If this procs on the HQ, it'll bring it down to one and a bloody sickle. We'll probably win the game. He has one as well. It did go on the HQ. So if this guy gets destroyed, it's GG. Um, thanks for the game. It's four. I don't think you get bonus damage, so it'll just be 2 damage. Four, 4 Bomber. Yeah, just 2. And that, that'll be that. Not a bad first game. Uh, it was a lot closer than what I was hoping it to be, with only four HP left on our on our HQ. Um, but I mean, they're always going to get that close. And that is our 50th win. Wow! Got another Panzer 38 for card draw, and played 50 Soviet cards for card removal, which I think I already have four of those. Welcome to game two, where we are playing against another Japanese player. So this is going to be a very interesting gameplay, because we both might be rushing. 
In which case, uh, we all, we all might, the, the board might just be empty at the end of the game. With no real winner or loser. Go ahead and just kill that. Go ahead and end our turn. Go ahead and give him a hello. 2 1 blitz. Not, nothing too particular. And another 1 1. Again, not a big deal. 2 1 with blitz. If we're on type 93, we could throw down. Two damage to a random enemy would be very nice, because it could proc here and just wipe the board. Hmm. Interesting. And so, these are different for each faction, so I'm just taking a look. Okay. Yeah, so I was thinking about this. Um, would you guys rather, uh, you guys can vote down in the comments below, um, would you guys rather uh, have one one game per video, but you get a video every single weekday? Or would you rather uh, have a, have it still every other day, like it is currently? Two damage, there we go, clear the board. So if you want to go ahead and comment in the, in the comments below um, on what you guys would prefer, because... I'm pretty flexible on it, um, you know, uh, two, two, video, or two games obviously takes a little bit more uh, time to, uh, for me to edit and upload, but other than that, it, it really doesn't make that big of a difference to me, so I'm completely flexible in that regard. Go ahead and beef up our units pretty big. Now we get beefed up once again with the Chiha too. We do have two big card removals as well. Bearing the Japanese and the Germans might go pretty well if they have that, uh... The Air Blitz deal 4 damage to target HQ. That, that's totally fine if you'll, you'll never surrender. Wow. That hurt. I didn't know that was a card. I see the retaliation. When your HQ receives damage, deal equal damage to the enemy HQ. Well, that hurt. <laughs> Good thing I didn't buff us again, because that would have been an additional 2 damage. Dang. But next turn we can probably sweep. Assuming he doesn't have another retaliation. No, he's got another air blitz. Wow, that is an interesting deck. Interesting. I kind of like that, honestly. Um, it kind of focuses on the enemy doing damage to you. Um, but it seems very situational, where uh, you basically need me to try and rush to put you down. Um, and it, it was a pretty large card combo, it wasn't just kind of like a one or two. Um, so, that was interesting, I don't know how effective that would be in going up the ladder. Um, but, interesting. I I mean, that deck <laughs> destroyed us. If, if uh, if he hadn't done that though, this that turn, uh, we definitely would have won that game that turn. So, but if you enjoyed today's episode, please like, subscribe. Have a good day.